नमस्ते वी विल एक्सप्लोर की कॉन्सेप्ट असोसिएटेड विथ द सन अर्थ एंड मून विथ द हेल्प ऑफ दिस न्यू प्रोटोटाइप लेटस बिगिन विथ द डायल वी विल प्लेस द सन हियर इन द सेंटर विथ द अर्थ रिवॉल्विंग अराउंड इट इन द आउटर मोस्ट सर्कल मंथ्स ऑफ द ग्रेगोरियन कैलेंडर आर मार्क ऑन द आउटर मोस्ट सर्कल एट दिस लोकेशन द मंथ ऑफ जानेवारी बिगिन्स फॉलोड बाय फेब्रुवारी मार्च एप्रिल एंड सो ऑन दिस इंक्रीमेंट इज इन द काउंटर क्लॉक वाइज डायरेक्शन जस्ट लाइक द मुमेंट ऑफ अर्थ अराउंड द सन इनर सर्कल हैज नेम्स ऑफ द झोडिया साइंस एरीज स्टार्ट फ्रॉम हियर Four key events are marked with these icons: two equinoxes and two solstices. This location marks the vernal equinox, which happens around 21st of March, and autumnal equinox, which happens around 22nd of September. This position denotes the winter solstice, while this one summer solstice. Around 4th of July, Earth is farthest from the Sun. in its orbit while it is nearer around 4th of january in this model we will use three celestial objects earth moon and the sun small earth will help us in knowing better about eclipses while bigger earth will be used to know about orientation of earth's axis duration of the day उत्तरायण एंड दक्षिणायन एंड पोल स्टार दिस बिग अर्थ कैन बी टेकन अपार्ट इन टू टू हेमिस्पियस दिस फीचर इज गुड फॉर एक्सप्लेनिंग कॉन्सेप्ट लाइक हेमिस्पियस इक्वेटर एंड पोल्स Let us place the model in place. Main frame can be inserted in this square pipe like this. This main frame will house other components. Two small gears and one large compound gear is used to ensure proper ratios of rotation and revolution. This small unit will house the earth and the moon together. bigger earth can be inserted in this small black rod it should rotate when we move the handle like this moon is placed with the wheel resting on the circular disc Moon rotates in an anti-clockwise direction when the handle is moved in the same direction. The sun will be in the center around which the earth-moon system revolves. Sliding of the moon on the round inclined disk mimics the inclined orbit of the moon with respect to the ecliptic. Actually, this angle is 5 degrees, but for explanation purposes it is kept at around 15 degrees. we can explore other scenarios as well with the help of straws moon can be made to revolve around the earth in just one plane similarly earth axis can be placed vertically with the help of this small rod
let us place the bigger earth for now. At this position, day and nights are equal, vernal equinox. As earth continues to revolve, the orientation of its axis towards the sun continues to change. It is tilted most towards the sun at this location. This is also the longest day in the northern hemisphere and shortest day in the southern hemisphere. Let's move on. It's equinox time again, 22nd September. Here, axis is tilted away from the sun, longest night in the northern hemisphere and vice versa. As you can see, orientation of the earth's axis has not changed throughout the year. It is always pointing towards one location in the sky. The star at this location is also known as pole star. The nature of orientation of the earth's axis can be seen from the top as well. Earth rotates around itself as it revolves around the sun. Revolution around the sun is in counterclockwise direction when seen from the top, way up above the north pole. So is its rotation as well in a counterclockwise direction. It is also said to be from east to west as is the convention in the textbook. Let us remove the big earth and replace it with the smaller one. We will also place the moon here. As you can see, moon also revolves around the earth in a counterclockwise direction. How about its orbit? This line represents the ecliptic plane in which earth revolves around the sun. And this white line represents the plane in which the moon revolves around the earth. Angle between these two planes is approximately 5 degrees. In reality, in the model, it is kept around 15 degrees for better visualization of the tilted orbit. When moon is between the earth and the sun, it's new moon day, also known as Amavasya. When earth is between the sun and moon, it is full moon day or Purnima. It takes approximately 29 and a half days to come back to the same position, that is from one new moon to the next new moon or from one Amavasya to the next Amavasya. This period is also known as the lunar month. In order to explore various events, it is important that the position of the earth's axis as well as the moon should be set right. With the handle held in one hand, lift this gear all the way up so that it is not touching other gears. Gently rotate lifted gear to set the position of earth's axis as required. In the same way, you can also move the moon to the desired location. This is full moon position. This is new moon position. Here is a close up for the same action. Release the big gear in place once you are done with the setting. Let's remove the sun. Eclipses can be better understood with the help of available light sources. Small torch, laser or flashlight from the smartphone 
can be used as our light sources. This bars and holder can be placed here. This small clip will ensure that the holder is placed at a desired height. Slightly push the laser inside to keep it on. Pull it back slightly to shut it off. Here, ray from the laser indicates where on earth sun will be overhead at noon. This position shifts throughout the year. It is at the equator right now and day is 22nd of September. It's also autumnal equinox. Observe the position of the sun as it moves towards the winter solstice date, 22nd of December. This is the southmost position. From this date, northward movement of the sun begins, that is Uttarayan. Same can be seen all in one place if we rotate the axis by hand. Now let us replace the laser with this mini torch. We can see the lighted part of the earth as it revolves around the sun. In the northern hemisphere, the axis is always in the sunlight on 22nd of June, that is summer solstice. This can be viewed better with the help of the flashlight of a smartphone. Can you guess the dates from these pictures? With the help of this small earth and moon, let us simulate an eclipse. Game of shadows can be better visualized if we use this white sheet to project the shadows. This is full moon day. This is a new moon day as well as solar eclipse position. Notice the shadow of the moon on the small area of the earth. Eclipses may not always happen at the same place again immediately. As the orbit of the moon around the earth is tilted. We can move the white sheet as the system changes its position.
This is full moon day as well as lunar eclipse position. Solar eclipse can be better viewed if we replace the torch with laser light. Moon will glow only if three objects are in one line. In the small frame, we can see the view from the top while the large frame shows the view from the front. Only at couple of places, moon blocks the laser rays completely, indicating the occurrences of solar eclipse on the new moon day. This is the scenario which is applicable to this particular model. But in reality, this may vary a lot. Observe the location where eclipse occurs next time. In any one calendar year, there are 12 or sometimes 13 lunar months. That means 12 or 13 full moon day. Time between Amavasya to the next Amavasya. This could be the reason we have 12 months in the Gregorian calendar as well. This rod indicates the position of the sun in the zodiac. Right now, when seen from the earth, stars in the zodiac Taurus are in the background of the sun. We can say that sun is in the Taurus. Sun's position changes throughout the year as earth revolves around it. Now, sun is in Cancer. And now, Sun is in Virgo. To view various scenarios in the orbit, you can remove this small gear and rotate the compound gear by hand. This will simulate the rotation of the Earth's axis as well as revolution of the Moon around the Earth. By doing this, we can observe all the changes in one place on the screen. It's good practice to keep the model safe for future use. Now here are some points to ponder. In the model, sun is shown as stationary object. Is it really the case? Do find out. Also, do we see the same side of the moon? Check it out if this is really the case in the model as well. Just like any other model, there are some limitations to this one as well. Objects are not to the scale in size as well as distance. Only revolution of the moon is nearer to the real one. Orbits of the moon as well as the earth are elliptic in nature. But in the model, they are shown as circular. Orientation of the earth's axis and the calendar do match but with a difference of 3 to 4 days. 4 key dates, 2 for equinoxes and 2 for solstices are also tentative as these dates also shift by a couple of days here and there in real life. Earth is also not a perfect sphere. It is slightly burst at the equator. But in the model, it is considered to be a sphere. These are the some alternatives you can try in case you want to explore the model further. Thank you.